I have a very small haul video to film. I am not actually sat at my desk, I'm in my lounge and if you can hear some gurgling noises, it's my husband's fish tank over in the corner. Uh, but this room is lovely and warm, um, so I'm just going to stay here. Um, it's not a really big haul video, um, but uh, nevertheless, I'll show you what I've got. So, first of all, I got this gorgeous fountain pen. So, it's a Lamy fountain pen um, in this lovely hot pink colour. It writes beautifully um, and, yeah, just fantastic. So, I was really happy with that. The next thing I ordered, these were actually off eBay um, and they were ages, I bought them ages ago um, and they are skinny washi tapes in all different colours. Um, so I've got some pinks, some teals, some yellows, some blues and I just thought these would be great for decorating and making planners and journals and things look really nice and they're skinny which I really like because a lot of my washi tapes are thick. Um, and I don't have one of those um, cutters that you can take the blade out to put things in. I've seen some um, cutters like that, so I don't have one of those. And I can't cut washi tape neatly, so really happy. Uh, this was an eBay purchase. They weren't much. They came from China. Um, to be honest, I forgot I'd ordered them, so I was quite happy when these turned up. Then a little haul of stickers from Ellie Beth Designs. So I have some bunting in all different colours. Love a bit of bunting, very happy with those ones. So the all different colours. I just thought they'd look ace in my planner. And page flags. I love page flags. I don't know what it is about a page flag but they make me very happy. So I've got the page flags that are two sheets in different colours. And uh, so there's quickly count two, four, six, seven per row and one, two, three, four, five, six rows per sheet. So those two there. And then the other exciting thing that I wanted to show you was I have bought two bullet journals. So I looked on YouTube, on Etsy, on Instagram, everywhere um, looking at bullet journals. So this one is an emerald one and I have got the ones with the dots. So inside it looks like this. So I've got one in emerald and I've also got one in pink. And if I just put my Lamy fountain pen on top, oh my goodness, look at that match. I am obsessed with getting planners and pens to match the colours. I can't help it. Um, so this is an example of what is inside a bullet journal. So I haven't set up the index. I need to get around to doing that. I was just so excited I just started writing in. Uh, but this is an idea of what is inside a bullet journal. So this is some February things that I had on. February memories. And then, um, because I only started it this week, um, I didn't have any other things that I could put in for February. So then I moved on to March. So March key dates, things that's going on, March to-dos, a March tracker of some things. Um, this is evolving, this list. It's not completely finished yet, but that's the, the fantastic thing about bullet journals is they're ever evolving and ever changing. March spend, um, so I started this and then, um, I don't know, my husband was like, why are you recording random stuff like food shops, um, you're going to run out of space, and he's quite right, because look, I've already used up like two, four, six, seven lines, um, and I've only got down to there before I go on to my online orders, so I think I'm going to change it up and put in there things that are um, unusual spends rather than random coffees and things like that. Uh, my online orders of things that I have bought and that I'm waiting to arrive. So I've still got some exciting things on the way and um, some clear post-it notes that are not here yet. More Lamy ink and uh, what else has not arrived yet? Uh, my 
Fudnasuki, which I apologise if I've said that wrong, it is um, a brush pen, but it's a really small, delicate brush pen um, for writing in here and making it look gorgeous. Some gold notebooks, some gold paper clips. I've got another one actually that I need to put under there as well because those are bulldog clips and I've ordered some Kiki K swirls as well, so they need to go on there. And then this is boring, but ugh, these things have to get done cleaning tracker. So um, I never set this out before. Um, and so now that I've set it out the first time, next month I'm gonna change it and just make this column here wider because obviously I've got all this spare space at the back. Um, so I'll do that for next month, but that's fine. A uh, cleaning tidiness tracker. Um, so when I do some cleaning, I put a shade in the box. So today, it was a big clean day, uh, big clean day today, so I can go down there and fill out my number three, and that gives me joy. Uh, then a March memories, so <laughs> I made a bit of a mess of this page because I wasn't paying attention, I thought it was February memories, so I filled it out with all my February memories and then realised, then I covered it up, um, but I'm not getting stressed out about it because life. And then a March meals. So in here, I'm going to um, pre-plan. Uh, so I'm going to sit down now and record all the March meals that we are having ahead of time, so that I know uh, what's going on and what we've got to do. So that is pretty much everything that I have done in here so far. It's really open to interpretation. You put in these bullet journals whatever you want. Um, so. People put all sorts in, people put diary uh, spreads in, people put um, things like affirmation logs, gratitude logs, people put um, books that they like to read, films that they like to watch. Um, so I'm going to see how I get on for March. I've never done anything filled out on this level before, um, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep it up to be honest uh, but we will try we will see how I get on and see if there is anything else that I feel that over the course of the month I want to put in um, I will I'll, I'll take a view on the um, weekly spread I've still got my Kiki K I don't want to get rid of it yet I only got it last week um, so yeah we'll see um, what I have ordered um, today was some I don't know how you pronounce this, so I'm sorry if it's wrong. I think it's Kaya inserts. So they are inserts for traveller's notebooks that are wider. Um, I have ordered, in fact, I can write that in on my things I've ordered list. Um, well, I've pre-ordered a Webster's Pages um, from Mrs. Brimble's shop. Um, and I have ordered it in the mint. I originally ordered it in rose gold. And then I had a wobble and I changed my mind and now I have um, emailed, changed it and I've ordered it in Mint with the thought process that I will see how I go with it. If I love the Mint, I can get a rose gold. Um, I might not even like the Travels Notebook when it comes. Um, this is a new fad for me. I don't know how far I'm going to get on with it, but nevertheless, we will we will see when it comes so this is pretty much um it for my bullet journal um these are really nice um they're a5 size so this is just another notebook uh, notebook i got from aldi which i'm using to record my um rock with me challenges uh yeah i think i started it um my rocky handwriting um and i think my other challenges are photo challenges so yeah, that's what I'm using this one for and it's the same size, um, A5 size and I really like that size of, of, of notebook and planner. Um, so there we go, that is what I have um, got over the past couple of days. Once I have got this in better shape, I will do a proper um, bullet journal setup. But for now I think um, I will just have a play and see how I get on. Thanks for watching and see you soon.